Hello, this is George Lees. Uh, one day, or less than a day now, before he has to go uh, and get his uh, enforced antipsychotic medication profiled uh, by Basil Switzer, the shrink who's leaving the region as soon as he gets me doped up. Yeah, immediately after the secret hearing, yeah, on the 2nd of, of October, today it's the 5th of October, okay, that's all of my time in drug freeness <laughs> that I'm being allowed to show the motives uh, for their vicious action against me as a political and fraud researcher. Yeah, there's all of my expertise in the neuroscience sector. There is the pharmacopoeia that was in place when I first started my healthcare career. Yeah, in the city of Edinburgh. Yeah, and there is the journal, the Trends in Anesthesia and Intensive Care, which I had to resign from because they asked me to write an article on childbirth in sub-Saharan Africa. And when I profiled that the death rate in caesarean operations there because they have no drugs at all, yeah, uh, in all of those countries only 4% of the householders have electricity. They have no drugs at all, they have to chew on a stick or use ketamine, which is a really, really toxic drug, like all of the CNS drugs are. Yeah, that's what I'm imposed tomorrow because of my activism. Uh, and in the death rate in childbirth in caesareans in Africa is 1 in 12. In Britain, it's 1 in 180,000. And we've been liberally supplied with drugs and protocols that keep patients safe for 200 years. Okay, I've tr changed my de dress code because the traitor to the patients and to me, yeah, the family friend in inverted commas that is Dr. Ian Fingland, used my dress code in his uninvited visit to this house to denounce me of being psychotically unhinged. Yeah, and I've tidied up my living room. All of the papers I had around me, yeah, are based on my persecution for my honesty. And I've got to get the rest of that story into about 15 minutes before I lose your intention span and it's become apparent to me that as soon as I hit on the world elites that is <laughs> the owners of the Bank of England those are my colleagues in New Zealand but those are the people that I have upset Princess Anne the uh, Chatham House organization which is the Royal Institution for International Affairs it's the Mafia Okay, there's Queenie, head of Chatham House, there's Bill Clinton, her half-brother, and there's the image that they keep getting upset by that tells you that the royals in Britain are illegitimate for 163 years, which is why when I write to them, trying to make a constructive exit route for them, yet so that they can safely, unlike their in-laws like Princess Di, move away from the tyranny and the stealing from our central banks but what they do instead is since I sent that letter on the last day in July less than three months ago yeah, they have launched the uh, absolutely vicious and there's no way I can defend myself against the cabal it's the world owning cabal and I want to explain that to you really quickly so there's the that's five months back I began to make videos on the royal involvement and Bill Clinton's foundations. Some of those videos, which are the green, the global warming scam to profit from everybody breathing oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide. It's absolutely sickening. And there's the other two videos on the woman that is on the Royal Institute for International Affairs. Her name is Julius and she is in the CIA and on the Bank of England for nearly a decade with all of the other thieves that are on the Bank of England that's Mervyn King that's the massive banking frauds and I'm gonna in this 15 minute video explain to you who the culprits are you can see some of them there that's the big banking fraud in 2008 when Ewan Brown from Edinburgh University where I got my pharmacy education 
became involved, when I exposed that he was the man that helped to crash all of the banks, the the uh, HBOS, the Lloyds Banking Group and the RBS Banking Group, he's interlocked on all of their directorates in 2008 when that crash occurred. When I revealed it, he got his knighthood within a fortnight and he's now the Chancellor at St Andrews. Everything is overtly political. <laughs> Goodwin, Hester, Ontario, Rabat, BP, Crashing Lloyds and its jobs, Chatham House, Kissinger, Brookings, Royal Institutes. All of it is right at the top of the tree and all of them are stealing from every one of the nine billion citizens on the globe. Huge frauds, about 5,000 people get the benefit of it. <laughs> and I get enforced drugs and I believe because of my age I will have to pay for them. Yeah, intramuscular drugs. I'm not going to dwell on that because we've done it all before. Notes on this tab. Okay, so these are the images of recently what I've posted on my website and what I've released into Facebook. And I get thousands of hits on these because it's about my persecution. It's now, n now to do with the evidence that has led to my persecution. That is the crimes of the world's elites and the doctors that support them. That's Dr. Fingland, the cop, gives me 23 hours notice on his psychosis diagnosis. Yeah? <laughs> that one's got uh, 1,200 hits already on the effect it's had on my family and my innocent kids as they get robbed at university already. Okay? So I'm going to show you where you can find all of the information and I'm going to impart it to you in less than 15 minutes. Okay, that is the front page of my website. I've had to adapt it to take you away from the crimes and the political world and to show you the plight that my local doctors, because they're paid to do it, have put me in. <laughs> okay, that's a care call to Callum Care, my MP. 700 hits in the first six hours. Yeah, everything that is about the emotive reactions to the plight that the bastards have put me in is liberally visited but the, vi the videos that I make on the monarchy and his war crimes get very few hits indeed yeah that's the trident scandals everything I have on my website is backed up by boardroom data director numbers and the locations for the profiteering munitions companies yeah, that's why I'm being persecuted, okay? <laughs> uh, and that's the Abraxa one next. So that's the very top of my web page, okay? If we scan down that page, what we get is the uh, illegitimacy of the monarchy. And there's the uh, directors in the Arms to Iraq scandal that is the inquest chair and Rifkind. There's Finland's ballop. <laughs> Yeah, that's his zipper. They're going to take that down. That was announced in the top secret hearing where Finland did not show. He gave his evidence on the telephone and I was privy to that evidence of my diagnosis that I don't keep a tidy house. <laughs> yeah, and all of that was laughed at by my son. But sadly, when they asked my son in the summing up, yeah, he said that his dad's been behaving strangely. Yeah, and all of that is a tragedy for me and my family. I forgive my son entirely. The pressure that is being put on me is immense. If they have coerced him into doing that, right at the end of the hearing, he laughed at the evidence that Finland presented. Yeah? <laughs> and there is my MP, and all of it you're now beginning to know. All of them have denied that they can do anything about it, and that is, Finland was a former cop. Okay, Basel, Switzer leaves the area as soon as the dirty is done. He's the man I meet tomorrow. Okay, my son Grant is extremely supportive uh, and I will never forgive the people if anything happens to him as a supporter of me and a total understander of everything I do. Okay, there's the evidence from the Kelso Medical Group practice that's Dr. Ruth Nidbitt, Dr. Sandy Morris, Dr. Ian Fingland, Dr. Robert Catlings, Janet Smiller, Sarah Potter maybe, Julian Maguire, Sunday Williams, Michael something, and I 
can't see the, this small print there prohibits me from seeing it so this is <laughs> Finland's diagnosis it arrived less than a day than I had to defend uh, before I had to defend myself against it with only my son present <laughs> yeah it is absolutely vicious uh, and what it is covering up <laughs> is all over my website okay and uh, so I don't want to dwell on the medication it's intramuscular I cannot refuse it if I refuse it I get interned in the mental home at Melrose where Sandy Morris came from and he's the one that I stopped in their tracks in 2011 when last they tried to do this when I was just beginning to become an activist and before my website had all of the sad facts on all of the defrauding of our country since Mrs Thatcher okay <laughs> so it's the Kelso medical group practice I have to go there twice a month yeah I'm disallowed from driving my car <laughs> because of my activities in revealing all of this shit this shit is the Bonner law stuff and all of the top secret SS stuff that means our country you see the rain starting to piss down now <laughs> it's been beautiful weather for weeks and weeks yeah as I let the truth out and all of it as the truth gets really big so that's Butlins I used to work for them on the River Tweed that's Mr Harris that's Bonner Law the Canadian financial institution that was raised and started in Hertfordshire and my wife attended it Ega, my wife worked there MI5, Otago Poly all of the links to Mark Carter and the uh, Ernst & Young companies and all of the Ernst & Young have a Finland on their board there are 600 people at any one time on the boards of every subsidiary of that yeah, Finland's on it not Dr Ian, they're much cleverer than that Ashridge, Rothschild 560 views only in about 10 months yeah all of it explicitly describes how all of those institutions and politicians come together all around the globe in the globalized fraud and that's why the treasury in every country on our globe is empty <laughs> okay and this one yeah it just occurred to me that when I sent the letter to the Queen proclaiming all of the problems of our country and my empathy with her and her family because of all of the killings and the death threats that all of the people in that family get yeah they're still though the richest institution on the globe okay and here we have the uh, sins of illegitimate royals this one has only got 500 hits since I published it at the same time as I wrote her that letter yeah and the manipulation of the statistics on this is just like the manipulation of the st statistics for the government this one's not going to open <laughs> yeah it's the royal affiliation that precipitates everything that is happening to me in the last three months there it is sons of illegitimate royals one Rothschilds popes PMs polis and I cannot read the next bit okay and that will be that's got 789 views okay it profiles how <laughs> all of those institutions and frauds come together to steal from the democratic world and all of the democratic world's uh, banks are now in their hands every county and council in the democratic world is in debt to them because they are now the money lenders and they've taken over the issuance of money in every country okay that's why I get the intramuscular injections and if that goes slightly in the wrong place I become a vegetable yeah like the addicts that get their NATO drugs from the NATO campaigns that's Afghanistan the last central banks to go and the opium wealth comes as a bonus for the monarchs for all of the time that I've been alive <laughs> okay that's the Chinese opium wars and Prince Philip's triumvirate yeah that is absolutely ruthlessly manipulating the news 
manipulating, there's the Bank of England stuff, and all of the inbreeding that leads to the 163 year illegitimacy of that monarchy. Right, I'm going to take you back now to my website, and I'm going to stop really quickly, because when I brought Lord Patton down by reputational hazard, the video was less than 10 minutes. Okay, so if you go to the top of my website, Prof George Lee's front slash revelations, you'll probably find that it has been closed down in your region <laughs> for reasons that are becoming obvious. Okay, there is what's at the top. If you scan down that page, you see, so that's my psychiatric sectioning. I don't want to dwell on that. I've done three days on it and I've had thousands of compassionate responses from genuine people uh, and some who just want to congratulate me on my capacity to stand up to being bullied like this that will not be the case when I am medicated okay <laughs> so up in this corner I've put in alphabetically up here just above my earlier open letter to HRH Elizabeth II in 2015 on corruption globally and how to resolve the global economy yeah that's what I wrote thinking that I can help the country to get out of all of these scams and what I get for it is profiled, yeah, and all of the politicians just turn their heads because they're muppets, okay? So this one is the assassination by the wah, 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 Windsors. That's the people that are the richest institution on the globe, and that is the people that made the king's stammering speech. Okay? So I've clicked on it, it will open in the course of time, and those are the issues that I'm being silenced on. A nuclear extinction threat and ancient war crimes. Okay, but what happened a few weeks ago is that this guy behind this camera discovers that all of the fraudulent Bible, which was written by the Pizzo family, is a joke about the world's bloodlines that are the Bushes, that are the, uh, the uh, Rockefellers, that are all of the lineages in between of the, all of the American presidents and what you, what you've, oh sorry I've not presented that all of the American presidents are from the same bloodline as the Pizzo family, but that's the Pizzo family data. The day I made that video, they shut my energy down with a team of five and I got a bill of £1,200 for the privilege of having that done to me. Yeah. <laughs> And this, these are just, I've listed a whole load of thumbnails for the pertinent videos that mean that I'm now able to explain the whole of the banking frauds, the whole of the religious frauds, that's all of the messianic religions, all of them are written for profit and to keep the people in fear that their soul will be solved if you listen to the bloodlines. Yeah. So we start with the Pizos and that says Bush, Windsor, Pizzo bloodline, run rabbit, run rabbit, run, 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 Alexander the Great, Hitler's friends, Pizzo's, Windsor's and Flemings. <laughs> yeah, and my area is riddled with Flemings because we're quite near the Flemish coast on the other side of the channel. Okay, Pisa, Pizzo, Windsor, Pounds, Bush, World Owners, Part 2, World Wildlife Fund, Greenpeace and Global Land Grabs. Only 400 views for that one. Not nearly as uh, emotive a topic as my family's reaction to my persecution for all of five years since I came home as an innocent activist. Yeah, and that's what I have to carry around my neck. Yeah, I doubt that I will be allowed to carry that in for my medication into the surgery that has betrayed me to keep the corruption ticking along. When they tried to do it in 2011, I was able to s expose all of the massive healthcare frauds against the patient that Sandy Morris revealed to me. And I called that man Dr. X for all of that five years in respect to the surgery and their privacy, because that fraud against the patients is UK wide. Okay, this is global now. Okay, that is the run rabbit, run rabbit thing, which is, the Winston Churchill yeah, victory sign in all of the great conflicts and this is the joke about the Piso currency because the Pisos are the first to be in charge of the release or the running of the mint 120 years 
in Rome before they fake the Jesus story and that is faked in Naples okay very quickly I will take you to the other page which is the third one there yeah so if you scan down that one at the top you'll see all of the illegitimacy images of the monarchs and if you, if you sorry if you go to the bottom of this one because that is the story you get Marie Antoinette, Bush, FDR, Mad King George, the Windsor Jeans, the Anzac, Matilda, World War Dead Jokes, Tyson, Borodin, Delaney's Donkeys, all of that is a joke about war dead and the democracy concept that means that everything that America has, <laughs> I thought it had 13 central banks, but Jim Fetzer told me the other night that when you look up Federal Reserve Bank, I think you get 26, okay? inner circle with FDR, Bush, Piso, Windsor, Longshanks, Norfolk's, Murray's, Middleton's, Percy's, Herod, Pharaoh's, that's the Ptolemies and all of the bloodline takes you back to Alexander the Great and Lagos the rabbit. Yeah and that is the war dead joke that is 80 million people in World War Two, uh, in World War One and 50 million people in World War Two huge genocides, all of them sparked by the religious fake-up and the hatred for Islam that was launched out of the uh, branches that went east Yeah, <laughs> that's Constantinople and all of the history of religion that I have innocently profiled as a service to society in the last two or three years Yeah, as I'm financially robbed blind and all of my accounts are now in the hands of my deserted wife's uh, solicitor's accounts, former head, former loyal for the lawyer for the council. Okay, there's the issues about the McClues, the Scots, Walter Scott, the Armstrongs, the Montagues, and all of them, and all of the religious frauds, and all of the sad stories, even about the pe the persecution of the female gender. Aristos, Cares, Rothschilds, Norfolk's, McClues, Balfours. Junkets. That was three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, when they began to rack up the intensity of the sectioning threat. Rothschild, Hill and Hirsch, Moses Montefiore, Naples, Plumpana, Rosebury, Five Arrows, Piso Bible. Yeah, the Anglo-French press, Halan divorce for banking director deals, IMF's can, quakes, lightning, Alnumly, the massive Ponzi schemes in the House of Lords and the House of Commons in Britain, in league with the French Parliament and fat people like him who are part of the cover-ups uh, covered by paedophilia I think that one is Pickles, Eric Pickles yeah, they launched their own banks in the French scams this is the one that, uh, that the disappearing soon Basel Switzer is going to take down because it shows you my invasion of their privacy when they come into my house and accuse me of all of this Murdoch II, French Protestant, Maury Duplessis 2000 year old religious mafias Murdoch Madonna, Lord Levison joined the 2000 year old religious lawless fraud team as cops or Stephen House bails out Murray Piso Cares and Sutherlands and the Frog Bertie this is the evolution of Christianity it is William the Conqueror and the French coming over the channel they're called Bertie at the end of the King's Speech film <laughs> yeah they're called Bert yeah and all of that is in all of the movies that are made in Hollywood since <laughs> they invented writing and all of the frauds become propaganda and it's quite <laughs> reputationally uh, hazardous only for the innocents that try and get the truth out Piso Windsor, Bush World Owners Part 2 yeah, we've done that one, that's the global land grabs Run Rabbit, Run Rabbit Yeah, so you scan down that and you watch any of those and you will learn why I'm being persecuted Okay, and as soon as I go global with all of that news and the letter to the Queen that went to Able Danger it got 900 hits in the first <laughs> three days it's got no more than that now because it is all heretical it means that the Mafia are exposed, that's every G20 government and their funders are often in the oil rich places and all of that is eternally contested by violence and warfare 
Okay, there's my persecution in the civil sector and the placement of sheriffs who are £26 million pounds in debt who are able to bang up people who go a few months under. Yeah, and Finland's diagnosis was that I am insolvent. I've got massive savings. I've got to make decisions on my pensions, my savings and our £50,000 that is in my wife's solicitor's account. Yeah, and I will not be able to make them when I'm doped up with the severely toxic antipsychotic drugs. Okay, <laughs> I think I should stop now. Yeah, and there's everything I do is open. I've tried to engage David Cameron. I've tried to engage any one of the government officials. All of them refuse to meet me now. That's a breach of the UK constitution. And, I've, and when you look at the website on almost every pages, every page, I've got the director numbers and I've got the Ponzi shelves all labelled and their dresses and their trading address for the fraud is all identified. I think I'm going to stop there now uh, and I could stop there with this one because this is the one that sh shows you. So you do not get a bigger abomination than that, that the people that work for the Royal Institution for International Affairs and the elite clubs of 300 that go to Davos and all of them steal from all of the world's citizens yeah Bill Clinton is the half brother of HRH let me just take you down the front page and Bill Clinton's foundation is a massive scandal it's one of the few videos that I ever made that was blocked before it was released <laughs> yeah and uh, so so let's go to the front page of my website To do that, you need to go to the top and you'll see that that's the introduction. Yeah, it used to be full of financial and economic crimes, yeah, and the running of the central bank by union leaders. But now, because I'm under attack <laughs> from my own country, uh, where I'm the most loyal and courageous citizen, yeah, it is now really difficult for me to be able to proclaim exactly why they want me sectioned <laughs> but if you go down so I've clicked on that page it's just uploading again <laughs> you can see that it's uploaded yeah, but it's taking its time so go there click on it and then scan down and you'll see why I am public enemy number one I'm public enemy number one because the genocides that occur through the last 30 to 40 years all over the world are explained yeah and the role of that little shit John Lamont yeah as an advisor to law enforcement Scotland is that he has turned his back on all of his commitments refuses to see me there's my son who is one of the few people that will speak on my behalf uh, there is the fraudulent letter that arrived less than a day before the only diagnosis I've had in five years of sectioning contempt, about 11 separate issues and all of them are intensified as soon as I turn on the leaders of society that interlock with the Pisos that wrote the Bible through their bloodlines. Yet yeah, there are the people that have cast this judgment on me. I want them to have a conscience. Mrs. Dinah Ilias, Mr. Paul Meyer, Mr. R. Douglas Armstrong uh, and that is a letter from Guy Cooper He's a kind of nice guy, like one of my students. He's educated to the level, level of MSc. <laughs> yeah, and all of them think it's really funny that you can convene a hearing of this importance behind locked doors and even the people that were there protesting about the abuses against society. That's Lord Parton's activities. Yeah, and there is the letter that may well lead to my very imminent death. Yeah, that's her ladyship. Those are the people that are in charge of the constitutional monarchy. When I wrote to her the last time, she says, we cannot possibly constitutionally interfere with our own government's crimes. And all of that was cited as my psychotic illness. Yeah, that's the blowing up of people and killing people. State-sponsored terror. Yeah, I don't report that. I just report the frauds from the Treasury in the House of Lords and the House of Commons yet yeah, with all the director numbers <laughs> and let's go down and see the really touchy stuff 
These are the elite connections to long shanks and all of the famous people. Colin Cowdery, uh, the man from the Thomas Moore film that is the Dukes of Norfolk, David Frost, the Hibernian director, the Scudamores, the Middletons. They are not commoners at all. They are elites since for all of the time since the French invaded in 1066. There is the Scamsters at the Bank of England. That's our Chancellor. That is Sir David Lees, the cover for me. And all of those guys are really, really famous now. But none of the public that get their pay frozen for seven years back to back will speak out about why he's on the core of the Bank of England, issuing the money only to the 5,000 people that run every bank on our world now. That's the intensive nature of the wealth divide. That's the leaders of the IMF, all based in France. Yeah, and all of them uh, are stealing from that same trough. Okay, and let's just get a few pictures. There's the Princess Elizabeth, the maid picked from the downstairs sector, the sperm donor Winston Churchill, and the Christmas joke. Yeah, there never was a Jesus and that's King George the stammering speech man and that's Princess Margaret and that is all of the illegitimacy so their dad is that one <laughs> yeah both of their dads is that one by artificial insemination and all of the Hallett work and all of the images that you see below have been published for nearly 20 years all over the world without any litigation until <laughs> Greg Hallett writes to the Queen and then all of a sudden no one is prepared to talk about this or the rabbit sign or anything that I have revealed in the last two months. That's the Irish sectarian violence and all of the political quizlings that perpetrate it. All of them are in it for profit and the Clooney joke is the first big church in France and his joke is that Paisley is the first big church in Scotland and all of a sudden the whole world is in violence because they cannot adhere to the rules that Jesus gave them in inverted commas yet yeah, there's the Clooney Abbey and that leads to the icon for that is the cross keys and that is the saltire flag for the Scottish nation I'm gonna stop there it's pathetic it's all premeditated and when you get to Princess Anne it gets really sickening he's a prophet there's the more and more of it Dame Helen and Alexander she runs Rolls Royce and she's interlocked with all of the people that are part asset stripping the children at university now okay <laughs> there's Bill Clinton's foundation scams in global warming and the El Nino is the baby Jesus in the Christian missions and the three ships that go sailing by on Christmas Day in the morning are Magellan's missionary fleet that were committing genocide all over the South Pacific. There's all the director numbers and all of the refusal of our MPs to investigate any of the Jonathan Aitken crimes or any of the Elizabeth Murdoch, Rebecca Brooks crimes in the malaria no more sector and all of the huge interlocking companies that they run with people who are foreign secretaries like him. I'm going to stop there now because it must be 20 minutes at least. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need to realise what has happened to our country really, really quickly. Yeah. And I am absolutely proud of everything I've done through all of my career, even in the healthcare phases. Yeah. Because in the healthcare phase of my life, we helped to cure epileptic conditions and I was quite proud of that at the time it was a waste of my time in retrospect and that for everybody else in this world is lunacy bye <laughs>